completes the work in 20 days and B completes the work in 60 days. If they work together, in how many days will they complete the work? People, they are telling A completes the work in 20 days and B completes the work in 60 days. Right? So you tell me what is A's one day work? 1 by 20. What is B's one day work? 1 by 60. Working together means what should I put here? Plus sign. Now, LCM of 20 and 60. Can I say 60 is a multiple of 20? So 60 is my LCM. 20 watts are 60? 3 is a. 60 watts are 60? 1 is a. What is 3 plus 1? 4. People, can I say 4 by 60 is nothing but 1 by 15? Now you tell me what is this 1 by 15 we got? Sir, this 1 by 15 is nothing but the work done by A and B in one day. Now try to understand the concept. In one day, if I do one nth of the work, I'll complete the work in how many days? N days. Yes or no? Can I say N is nothing but N by 1? Observe people. In one day, if I'm doing 1 by N, I will take N by 1 days. Ulta. Same way, in one day, if they are doing 1 by 15th of the work, they'll complete the work in 15 days. I hope you have understood the concept, all of you. So first we find out one day work. After that, we will find out their one day work together. So in together in one day, if they're doing one by 15th of the work, they'll complete the work in 15 days. This method is called the fraction method. And many of the textbooks will be using this method. This is not the way to solve. You have one formula that is nothing but x y divided by x plus y. This is method number two, where they will be using a lot of formulas. This is also not a faster way. So how do we do these type of problems is this way. Now see how you can do it in a simpler way. They are telling A is completing the work in 20 days and B is completing the work in 60 days. People, what I will do here is directly I will take the LCM of 20 and 60. People, LCM of 20 and 60 is what? 60. So I will assume total work is 60 units. Okay. So if you're doing 60 units, you're completing the work. Right people? So A is completing the work in 20 days, which means he is completing 60 units in 20 days. Now if he completes 60 units in 20 days, which means in one day he'll be doing 3 units, that is 60 by 20. B is completing 60 units in 60 days. Which means in one day he'll be doing 60 by 60, that is nothing but one unit. Sir, A is doing three units per day, B is doing one unit per day, together they'll be doing four units per day. And what is the total work? 60 units. So they will complete 60 units in 60 divided by 4, that is nothing but 15 days. People, are we getting the same answer in a faster and simpler way? I hope the concept is clear. Please take down both the methods. Now the previous sum we solved using LCM method. Now let us solve a few more problems in the same way. Now in the sixth question, what are they telling? A completes the work in 15 days. B completes the work in 60 days. Working together, they take how many days? People, let's apply LCM method. Now you tell me 15 and 60, what is the LCM? Can I say 60 is a multiple of 15? So LCM of 15 and 60 is what? 60. So total work is 60 units. Right now, A completes 60 units in 15 days, which means in one day, how much is he doing? 60 by 15, that is 4 units. B is completing 60 units in 60 days, which means in one day, he is doing 1 unit. Sir, A is doing 4 units per day, B is doing 1 unit per day. If they work together, they will complete 5 units in one day, and to complete the work means I have to complete 60 units. Sir, in one day, if they do five units, 60 units, how many days? 60 by five, that is nothing but 12 days. This is the answer for question number six. Now we will solve some more problems using the same method. Look at this one. A is completing the work in 12.5. B is completing the work in 50. Can I say 50 is a multiple of 12.5? 12.5, four is 50. So LCM of 12.5 and 50 is what? 50. So total work is 50 units. 
A is completing 50 units in 12.5 days, which means in one day is doing 50 by 12.5, that is 4 units. B is completing 50 units in 50 days, which means in one day, 1 unit. So together they are completing 5 units in one day. To complete 50 units, they'll take 50 by 5, that is nothing but 10 days. I hope you are able to understand the concept. It's becoming simpler. Look at this one, <coughs> 20 and 30. People 20 and 30, which is the larger number 30, keep multiplying 30 till 20 divides. What is 30? 2 is a 60. Does 20 divide 60? Yes, sir. So LCM is 60. A is completing 60 units in 20 days, which means in one day, 3 units. What about B? 2 units together, 5. So answer is 60 by 5. That is nothing but 12 days. Now look at the next one. A 12, B 20, C 60. People, can I say 60 is a multiple of 12 and 60 is a multiple of 20, which means the total LCM is 60 units. Okay. Now, A is completing 60 units in 12 days, which means in one day, 5 units. What about B? 3 units. What about C? 1 unit. So together it will be 5 plus 3, 8. 8 plus 1, 9. Answer is 60 by 9 days. I hope the concept is clear. Look at the last one. 15, 20 and 30. Now whenever you want to find the LCM of more than two numbers, take the largest two, which is the largest two, 20 and 30. Keep multiplying 30 till 20 divides. That is 60. And can I say 60 is a multiple of 15 also? Yes. So total LCM is 60, which means A in one day is doing four units. B in one day is doing three units. C in one day is doing two units together. 4 plus 3, 7, 7 plus 2, 9. So answer is 60 by 9 days. So using this method, I can solve the problems without touching the pen within 10 seconds. Now either you do one sum in one minute or in one minute you do five sums, it shows your efficiency. Clear? So type two problems, this is the method you have to follow. Please make a note of all these sums. Now let's look at question number seven and I call this as type three. Why? I will let you know in some time. Read the question. 45 men complete a work in 16 days. After six days, 30 more men joined. They now complete the remaining work in how many days? People, what are they telling? 45 men complete the work in 16 days, which means in one day, they complete one by 16th of the work. So just for my reference, I'll write a 45 men 1 by 16. Can I say one man will be completing 1 by 45 into 16? Yes or no? Now, 45 men in one day complete 1 by 16. What are they telling? After 6 days, which means, can I say, till 6 days, 45 men worked. Yes or no? So 45 men in one day complete 1 by 16. In 6 days, they will complete how much? 6 by 16. One day, 1 by 16. Two days, 2 by 16. Six days, 6 by 16. Can I say 6 by 16 is nothing but 3 by 8? Yes or no? Now, what is this 3 by 8 we have got? This 3 by 8 is the work completed. Okay. So, what is the remaining work? Remaining work is nothing but 1 out of 1 whole work minus 3 by 8. Instead of doing 1 minus 3 by 8, out of 8 chocolates, you have eaten 3 chocolates. Remaining is what? 5 out of 8. Now this 5 8th of the work is done by how many men? 45 men, 30 men or 75 men. They are telling 30 more men joined which means already we had 45. 30 more men joined means now we have 75 men. So question is 75 men complete 5 8th of the work in how many days? Before that 75 men in one day complete how much work? That we have to find out. So one man in one day. So 75 men means just multiply by 75 on both sides. So this is be 75 divided by 45 into 16. 15 fives are 15 threes are. So this will be 5 by what is 3 sixteens are 48. Sir, in one day if they complete this much work, for how many days should they work to complete how much? 5 8th of the work. So 5 and 5 gets cancelled. 8 ones are. 8, 6. So my answer is 6 days. 
I hope the concept is clear all of you. Now this is method number one. This is the textbook method. This is not the way to solve. Can you solve this in a faster way? Yes. Now see, whenever they tell a group of men join or a group of men leave, I call these as type three problems. And how are we solving type three problems? Type three problems, we are solving it this way. We assume one man in one day is doing one unit work. Okay, so one man in one day is doing one unit work. Initially, how many men we had? We had 45 men. So they complete 45 units in one day. And they should work for how many days to complete the work? They should work for 16 days. So 45 men, if they work for 16 days, they will complete the work. So my total work will be 45 into 60. This is my total work. But what is happening? 45 men are not working for 16 days. They are working for how many days? Six days. Am I right? After that, 30 more men joined, which means now how many men? 75 men. They should work for how many days to complete the work? I hope the concept is clear. People, can I take 45 common here? So this will be 45 into. What is 16 minus 6? 10 will be equal to 75 into what? 15 fives, 15 threes, 5 ones, 5 twos. So answer is 3 into 2. How much is that? 6. Is it matching my answer? Yes, sir. So second method is relatively easier and a faster method. But please note down even the first method so that you understand the concept. Please write it down. A is twice as good as B. And when they work together, they complete the work in 18 days. A alone would complete the entire work in how many days? Now, this question is very important. Asked in many competitive exams as well as in IT companies. Okay. Now, this question, you open any textbook, it will be minimum four to five lines. Okay. I will tell you how to do it in the fastest way. Before that, we'll see the concepts. A is twice as good as B. People, if A is twice as good as B, if B is taking 20 days, a will take how many days? 10 days. Why? Because A is twice as good as B. So from this, can I say B is equal to 2A? Yes or no? In efficiency, A is twice as good as B. But in the number of days, B is taking twice the number of days A is taking. So A is one day work plus B is one day work will be how much? They are completing the work in 18 days. So in one day, they will complete 1 by 18. Correct? So 1 by A plus instead of b can i substitute as 2a equal to 1 by 18 a and 2a can i say 2a is a multiple of a so lcm will be 2a so this will be into 2 into 1 2 plus 1 3 equal to 1 by 18 to 1s to 9s so a is one day work will be 1 by 3 9s 27 so in one day, if A is doing 1 by 27th of the work, he will complete the work in how many days? 27 days. This is how textbook will tell you to solve, but this is not the way to solve. I will tell you the fastest method where you can solve this within one line. Now see, they are telling A is twice as good as B and A and B complete the work in 18 days. They complete the work in 18 days. A is twice as good as B means divide 18 by 2 people what is 18 by 2 9 so answer is 18 plus 9 what is 18 plus 9 27 days i hope you have understood the concept no you have not understood the concept you have understood the technique concept is this see a is twice as good as b which means what when b is doing one unit a will be doing how many units two units correct so what is the total work Total work is three units. So A is doing two units in how many days? 18 days. So if he has to complete the entire work, he should do one more unit of the work to complete the entire work. Now two units if he is taking 18 days to do the remaining one unit, he will take 18 by two, that is nine more days. So in 18 days, he is doing two units. And in nine more days, he is doing one more unit. So he is completing three units in 27 days. I hope you have understood the concept, people. Please take down both the methods. A is 
thrice as good as B. Okay, thrice as good as B means I'll divide by 3. And together they complete the work in 24 days. So 24 by 3 is what? 8. So the number of days taken by A alone to complete the work is 24 plus 8. That is nothing but what? 32. Do we have that option? Yes, sir. That is option B. I hope it is clear. Please write it down. A is 5 times faster than B and together they complete the work in 30 days. A is how many times faster? 5 times. So what is 30 by 5? 6. So answer is 30 plus 6 that is 36 days. Please write it down. Okay, next one. They are telling what people? A and B complete the work in how many days? 30 days. B and C complete the work in how many days? 24 days. And then they are telling C plus A complete the work in how many days? 20 days. Am I right? Now I will give you 2 minutes time. You try to solve this problem. Okay. Now that you have taken 2 minutes time, see I will let you know where you might have gone wrong. So first we find the LCM, largest two numbers is 24 and 30. Largest number is 30, keep multiplying 30 till 24 divides, that is 120. And 120 is a multiple of 20, so total LCM is 120. Which means A and B in one day is doing 4 units, 120 by 30 is 4. B and C will be doing 5 units. C and A will be doing 6 units. So 4 plus 5 is 9, 9 plus 5 is 15 units. But this is not A plus B plus C. This is 2 times of A plus B plus C. Because we have 2 A's, 2 B's and 2 C's. So can I say A plus B plus C will be 15 by 2. That is nothing but 7.5 units. Sir, A, B and C in one day are doing 7.5 units. Now read the next part of the question. If they work for 10 days, in one day if they are doing 7.5 units, in 10 days they will complete 75 units. So what is the remaining work? Out of 120, they have completed 75. Remaining is what? 45 units. Now this 45 units is done by whom? A. So how many days will A take? For that first I should know A in one day is completing how much work? A, B, C is 7.5. B plus C is 5. So can I say A will be 7.5 minus 5 that is nothing but 2.5. So in one day if he is doing 2.5 units to complete 45 units how many days will he take? He will take 18 days. People do I have this option? Yes sir that is option D. None. Just let me verify if this is right or wrong. 45 by 2.5. So 2.5 ones are 2.5. 2.5 uh, 18 is up will be 45 correct so answer is option d that is none of the above please write it down